Hello, Zip Strike Army. My name is Jake, as always, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Soul Silver, the Jake Lock Randomizer. In the last episode, we took on the Lighthouse and found out that Amphi, the Ampharos that helps light up the Lighthouse, is sick and in need of medicine. So uh, we ought to go do that today, shall we? Anyway, so we're going to go on our route to Cyanwood City and the water. And do I, I have Super Repel, right? I, I have Super Repel, right? I'm gonna make sure, just gonna make sure. Double check where my repels. 12, yeah, that'll suffice. We actually get a Pokemon in the water, so we're gonna definitely go do that and get, you know, obviously. My phone's going off. Oh my gosh, I have friends coming over and I'm playing Yu Gi Oh! tonight, so I gotta do an episode quick because I wanna try to do an episode every time. I just wanna make sure it's not my friends. I know this is really unprofessional checking my phone, but. Nope. Nope, we're fine, we're fine. It's my beautiful girlfriend. Brienne! Speaking of Brienne, she's the hair cross in this game, and this is a... This is a very, very bad matchup. We better get out of here. We don't have anything for this thing, because our Kenya Star Raptor is going down in pretty weak, so we're still going into it, though, even though it's way too overleveled for its own good already. Why? Had I known you were going to go for double team, I would have just stayed in and aerial aced your ass. Pardon the French. I don't swear too often. But you're gone, Staravia. Staravia! There we go. You're gone. Alright, I have been confident the EXP share. I forgot about that. But APOM's coming out. You know what that means. Heracross is going to destroy it because Heracross is an animal. Even though it's very modest. So yeah, you're gone. I I don't care if you tickle me. You're still going down. My I, my attack can drop to minus six, and you're still gonna get O code. Duck shot. I'll give you a banana if you get O code. What? It lived. Oh, it's that modest nature. I'm telling you. No, oh, that's not gonna do very much. Actually, it does a lot. Okay, it hit twice. Um, probably because of Technician. I'd say that one has Technician. I forget, what other ability does Apom slash Ambipom even have? <clears throat> I don't even, I can't even remember to be honest. Nope, I cannot remember for my life, but yeah. Nonetheless, I better heal. Do I have like, I'm gonna use my fresh water. I guess I'll just heal everyone. I mean, I don't want to use a, whatchamadigit. We're at four, right? Yeah, we're at four tokens. I need to write this down every time I stop recording. Like, I l literally need to just write it down. How many How many uh, tokens were we at, Jacob, last episode? I don't know. Fifteen? Negative fifteen? I don't know. I really don't, sometimes. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to say we're at four, if I remember correctly. Because we are at four before Akritig. We heal right before Morty, then we beat Morty. So, yeah, we're at four. I'm gonna try to get a Pokemon in this route though because it's a different route and it's going to be a Luxia, which is indeed dupes claws even though we just have a Shinx right now So yeah, that is indeed dupe claws, but this one's got intimidate This one's got intimidate. I could call dupes, but I kind of don't want to call dupes That might give me a Pokemon a type that I'm actually interested in I think I'm gonna risk it though. I'm, I'm gonna risk it for not something else. Oh man, this is really risky. We get another Luxio. I'll know instantly if it's got rivalry or intimidate. It's got rivalry. We'll go five times, and if we don't get something different at five times, we'll just catch the Luxio. This is Duke Claws too, because we have a Star Raptor. This is the funniest thing ever. I think it's all dupes, so that means we're going to for sure get a Luxray or Luxio. But honestly, I technically can keep going until I get an Intimidate one, so... Ha! Screw you, game! I don't have to deal with stupid rivalry in this anymore. Which I'm thankful for. Alright, let's see. Please have Intimidate. 
Yeah, this one's gonna intimidate. We're gonna use this one. We're gonna catch this one. I don't think Brick Break will knock it out. It's not super effective. It got intimidate. We have modest nature. There's no way it knocks it out. Wow, that actually came really close. Really, really close. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know. My stomach's a little upset. Ooh, uh, let's chuck a great ball. I'm gonna actually bring this on the team instead of Bruiser because I think it, I, I I feel like Lux EO slash Lux Ray would be. A better fit for our team than Glealy. Because the Intimidate will help our team out. Because we'll have two Intimidate users, and then we'll finally have something to take on Electric types. And I'm not actually going to name this Scar instead of Simba. Because I name like, all my Luxeals and Luxray and Shrinks and stuff Simba. I'm going to name it Scar because it's male and. I don't know. I always thought Luxray should have been a dark electric type or electric dark type, but nonetheless, it's cool. I should have sprayed Repel, but I feel like I can make it to land without spraying another Repel. Level 25. Oh, man. If I can escape, I lose Brian. I'm going to cry. I can't ever let her go down. Oh, I, I literally have to go into Kenya here. I have to. I really, really have to. Cause it didn't let me escape, a fly, any flying move knocks us out. It, but it goes for double team, regardless we can just run though from this thing. And I can put up Bruiser in the PC cause Bruiser has not taken any damage or has not taken any PP so I'm allowed to do that. That was a rule that I implemented at the beginning of the game so I'm not breaking any of my rules. I'm trying to not break any of my rules, I, I hope I'm not breaking any of my rules. And honestly, I'm probably going to do an update, or not an update video, a rule video at the beginning of this. Ooh, Impish Nature? That's okay, because you have all physical moves. You are a physical attacker, so I am more than okay with you having an Impish Nature. That actually gives us more bulk. So, Glalie, go into PC, buddy. Sorry, we might bring you out later, Bruiser, but I want Scar with us. Yeah, so we got Brienne, the Heracross, Zuzu, the Zumril, Bobo, the Monferno. Kenya, the Star Raptor, Ivankov, the Gender Confused Curlia, and Scar, the Luxio. We actually got another male too, which is pretty good because no more attract users. They won't annoy the living crap out of us. <clears throat> I'm kind of nervous about spraying Repel because I feel like when you spray Repel, we're going to encounter a lot of Star of Ravia. And I don't know. I, I don't really want to lead with Heracross. But. At the same time, like, I really want to use it to train it up. So it's like, we're, at, we're, we're like, it's stuck. Like, what are you going to do here? I guess we got to risk it for the biscuit. And we'll see if it pays dividends. Yo, I want to battle you. I think there's a TM. Uh, I think it's normally pluck on this route, if I'm correct. I believe it's usually TM for pluck, and then it'll be something different. But yeah, we can handle this crabby, crabby with relative ease. Should be a 2 8 KO. Wouldn't understand why it wouldn't be. Oh, yeah, easy 2 8 KO. Even with that harden. You harden up, buddy. See what's gonna happen, boy. I'm just kidding, excuse me. There we go. Is this battle over already? Wow, that was a really underwhelming battle. Thought she had more Pokemon than that. I think that's TM, and it's TM18, Aurora Beam, oh, kind of interested who can learn that, the only one I'd even recommend learning it is probably Bobo or Curlia, one of those two if they can learn it, well Bobo can, I might consider teaching that to Bobo to, I guess, deal with flying types better, nothing else can learn it, but I think I'm going to hang on to, oh, I should say Star Raptor can learn it, but come on, Star Raptor is a physical attacker, I'd rather not. Hey, can you learn Vice Grip? Star Raptor? I'm just curious. It's Stab. Zuzu can. How much? How many? How many PP does that have? Twenty? Thirty? Yeah, that's better than Scratch by five power. So we're gonna go ahead and teach that to Zuzu. I know it's not Stab or any. Then again, no. We might have a Pokemon that has Stab on it. So I think I'll actually pass. I think we'll be good for now. Keep trucking along. This might be a longer episode, to be honest. I'm um, not sure. I might do the rest of the water routes later on. 
or the rest of it. Come on, come back to me. I want to battle you. I, might, I, I guess, I mean, I can just skip everybody, but I, I have to do it on screen anyway because it's a Nuzlocke, so I can't do this stuff off screen unless I'm recording and super speeding it, which I'd rather just not super speed anything. If I have a chance, like grinding, I would, but we have not had to grind, like, at all in this game yet. The only time I really plan on grinding is, like, right before the Elite Four. Because I feel like that's probably going to be what's best for business, as Triple H, Paul Levesque would say. No, it's 18. Remoraid. Oh, Jet. I miss you, buddy. You do have... What is it called? You actually do have Psybeam, which is not going to help us because not Stab. But we okay with you with a Brick Break, considering our modest nature and all. That's pretty impressive. Paula, you're feeling dizzy? Why? What, did it, what happened? Let's battle you. Hey! Don't look away when I'm trying to battle you. I am your superior master, Randall. Corn on the cob. Anybody gets that reference? Green Bay Packers, wide receiver. Uh, I feel together with Devontae Adams and Jordy Nelson, the Packers have the best wide receiver trio in the league, and him and Jordy Nelson make up the best wide receiver duo in the league. I don't know, I feel they do at least. Can't see a Trimeco doing much to us. Horn Attack is actually our best play here, so we're going to go for Horn Attack. I mean, I can't see it knocking us on one hit. Oh, that was a crit. Confusion's too weak to knock us on one hit. Oh, a crit would have knocked us out. <clears throat> Do I risk? Actually, crits are fine. Crits double in power, so that will for sure knock it out from that range. <gasps> no, it didn't! Ooh, we got lucky. Oh, my lord, we got so lucky. If that would have went for confusion, we'd have lost Brienne. That is pure luck. On my end. I honestly thought like the we would have knocked it out there. Chin Chow, uh I'll say in. Uh, it doesn't have counter, it doesn't have anything that really can threaten us, so we're safe to stay in a brick break until we KO it. Yeah, it's a solid two hit KO. It does have the Thunder Wave, but I think we have cherry berries for that, so I'm I'm not worried about it. Uh let's horn attack. Water gun's gonna be like a three at KO from that range. Yeah, actually, that's like a uh, five hit KO from that range. Unless it gets a crit. Oh, excuse me, my stomach's kind of upsetting me right now. It's up. What do you want, Chris? Do you mean an item? Totodile. Heracross is my favorite Pokemon in fourth generation. Past fourth generation, my favorite Pokemon is indeed Zebstrika. So we need to get rid of. Wait, I'm not gonna use full heal. We have berries. Thought I had a cherry berry. No? No cherry berry, huh? Alright, well, if that's the case, we will use a full heal then. Well, we have a heal powder too. That does the same thing, but. Do I have any other healing items? No, we just have six fresh waters, so I might have to go back and buy some off screen. I can go back and buy fresh water off screen, because nothing ever happens off screen. Like, I mean, I don't battle anybody. I just literally, the only thing I do off screen is, um, what's the word? Uh, the only thing I do off screen is get items and stuff sometimes, but that really doesn't really matter. It doesn't have any effect on anything. And Snowbird can't touch us whatsoever. I mean, ice is neutral, but like, why would we be worried about a Snowbird when we can just brick break this thing and dismantle it and gain our level to level 21? Wait, I really want to know how Apom lived that brick break, yet Snowbird can. That doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, don't we have a black belt? We might have a black belt. Ooh. Oh, uh, that's something to definitely give to Heracross if we do have it. I don't remember if we do. Togekiss! Yikes, that's kind of threatening. We have 5 PP on Crab Hammer left. What do we have on you? <sighs> we use you too much though, man. I don't want to use you. We'll go for Zuzu. 
Um, Rock Smash is actually neutral. What I'm going to do to conserve the Crab Hammer PP, because honestly, I'm not too threatened by this. I'm going to go for a Rock Smash. Yeah, I mean, it's got extreme speed. That's going to do probably 20 at the most. It does 15, so I'm going to go for defense drops really quick. I don't get one, but the hail is still up. And if you guys didn't know whether it was permanent back in 4th generation, it was permanent until 6th generation. So I'm set to keep going for tackle. Uh, that's got 10 more power anyway, so 2 more tackle plus... Um, <clears throat> plus, uh, whatchamacallit, hail is going to knock it out. That does a lot more damage than I actually wanted it to do. We are faster because the hail hit us first. If you guys didn't know who's faster ever, if weather conditions such as sand and... Oh gosh, that's going to do more. Eh! Ooh, la, 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 la. That does too much damage to my liking. If you guys didn't know, uh, if there is a weather up and running, you can definitely just go for whoever takes damage first from sand or hail is faster actually. Same with leftovers recovery. That's just a little hint for all you guys if you guys weren't aware of that. There's still another Pokemon? Wow. Uh, Machop. We will just go into Brienne. I could have went into Ivan Cobb to be honest to knock Machop out, but either way, Ivan Cobb slash Brienne will deal it deal with it. Like there's not much a Machop can do to us. We both Pokemon resist its stab move. Like there's not much Machop can do. We got a crit even. I was like, that did over half, that means it was a crit, because I mean it's not stabbing, we have a modest nature, so I figured it would have been a crit. <clears throat> I'm honestly just going to try to get to Cyanwood City today. I'm just going to go around and then I'll, on the way back in the next coming episode, before we challenge the gym, I'm just going to finish off the trainers on the water route. Kaylee, huh? With the shells. I think Horn Attack should be a 2 hit KO. If not... Uh, Brick Break plus Horn Attack in combination with Horn Attack will be a 2 a KO. Horn Attack is a 2 a KO. No matter what hidden power it is, unless it's flying, it's not going to do that much. As it, it's Dark, because Dark is like the standard hidden power like all Pokemon have. If they're max 31 IVs, everything, it's hidden power Dark. Mm -mm, wheezing, huh? Wow, um... We're gonna go to Ivankov. If it's got self destruct, we lose Ivankov, and that's gonna be really bad. But we should be faster. We trace Levitate. I'm gonna go for Confusion. We're not! We lost Ivankov, it's gone. Bye, Ivankov, you are not living. Well, that sucks. I really wanted to use Gardevoir, too. We'll just go on Brienne. I, I can't be that scared of anything, really. Honestly, I'm kind of sad that uh, Weezing didn't get to go down to an actual move. Because I really wanted to just get the experience more than anything. I didn't really want to just knock it out. I just wanted the experience, to be honest. But I guess it's better than I Ivan Cobb going down. Because I'm attached to all these four. And we really need an electric type to deal with other electric types, or like to like have a stalemate at least to survive electric moves. I mean, Heracross can survive electric types okay, but still, we need something better than that. Some a resist to it. So I mean, I, Ivankov was worth it, I guess. I don't know. I kind of feel bad for the guy, but or for the girl, the gender confused Pokemon. Yeah. But nonetheless, I'm not staying in on this. I'm not even afraid of pursuing it. I'm, I just, I can't afford to stay in. But I, I'm pretty sure Scar can deal with this. Yeah, pursuit doesn't mean anything. I'm pretty sure Scar can deal with it. Oh, speaking of Scar, I'm gonna give that the experience right now. I mean, we gotta intimidate. Unless it fury attacks us for like five and crits and stuff, I'm not worried. Pursuit, that's gonna do 23. 13 does 10 less than I envisioned. So as long as he doesn't crit us in any way, shape, or form, we're golden. Especially if we get a paralysis, we can for sure stay in and just bark again and not care about anything this Doduo wants to do to us. 
I think that's a, this thing's only Pokemon, or this trainer's only Pokemon. I don't think it has another one. <clears throat> no, it doesn't. But I will give the experience share to Scar now, because we need Scar to have some experience. No, Bobo's item. I'll take. Experience share. Since I see the black one, I may as well just give that to Brienne right away. Yep. It's alright. Uh, I should probably heal Zuzu in case we need to use it. So we don't have to waste a turn healing in battle. I mean, we're, we're running out of fresh water, but... Nonetheless, we'll be okay, I think. I think we'll be alright. I think that was the last train. Nope, there's one more before we get to Cyanwood. I mean, there are other ones to battle in the water, but... I don't really feel like that's necessary. Yeah. Burke and his... Oh, this Munchlax is gonna get Oko, because we just attached a black belt. Get out of here, Munchlax. I don't care if you're bulky. Get out of here, son. And uh, yeah, it goes down in one hit. Should give us decent experience. Nope. Nah, not at all. Scar got a level, so that's worth it. What happened to Bite? Shouldn't Scar have Bite? I thought I had Bite. But nonetheless, we are now in Cyanwood City. So I am going to end it here, guys. In the next episode of um, Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver, the Jake Lock Randomizer. We will not be taking on the gym. We will be exploring Cyanwood, and there are some side quests, but main quests at the same time that we need to get done. So thanks for watching, everyone. If you guys could, please electrify that like button. Like a Zip Strike would, Zip Strike Army. Have a great day, and I love you all very much. Bye-bye, guys.